sharing with you all the best nonstick frying pans. Fry pan? Frying pans? Today I'm sharing with you the best nonstick frying pans that I've found, both a high-end option and also a more affordable option that are great for everyday use. All right, let's get into it. So earlier this year, I went on the hunt for the best nonstick frying pan, specifically for eggs. As many of you know, I do have insulin resistance, so I eat eggs a lot, like at least four times a week. Eggs are supposed to be great for people with insulin resistance, pre-diabetes, diabetes, gestational diabetes. I mean, it's supposed to be the perfect protein, right? So after completely destroying my old egg pan, I headed straight to Crate and Barrel with my gift card, which led me to this. This is the Le Creuset Toughened Nonstick Pro 8-inch Shallow Frying Pan, which retails for a whopping $110. Eek! So this is actually the first Le Creuset item that I own. I've always stayed away from that brand because of the high price point. But I really wanted to invest in a good nonstick pan because of how often I incorporate eggs into my diet. Now, this 8-inch frying pan is just one of the items from their Toughened Nonstick Pro line. They also have larger frying pans, they have stir-fry pans, saute pans, pots, etc, etc. Now, I've been using this frying pan for about three months now, almost every single day, so I feel like I have a good enough feel on it to review this thing. So I'm gonna start off by sharing two points that sold me right off the bat when it comes to this pan. And man, those Crate and Barrel salespeople, they know what they're doing. This woman spoke with such conviction, such confidence about these two points that I'm about to share with you that she totally sold me on this outrageously priced frying pan. So these are the two points. So point number one, this frying pan has a lifetime warranty. Now for $110, I would hope so. However, the saleswoman conveniently left out that this warranty is a limited warranty, but it's a warranty nonetheless. Now I looked through the manual and tried to figure out what exactly the warranty covers. The wording was a little bit vague, but what it does not cover is Damage from abuse, commercial use, or other non-consumer use, neglect, abnormal wear and tear, overheating, or any use not in accordance with the cookware instructions provided with the utensil. It's interesting because the warranty in the other countries, such as the UK and Australia, specifically mentioned that the warranty does not cover normal wear and tear, but in the US warranty, it says that it does not cover abnormal wear and tear. So then, does that mean that I can assume that in the US, the warranty covers normal wear and tear. But regardless, there is a limited warranty on this item and it says so right here on the box. The second selling point for me, and this was like the biggest deal ever, was that you can use metal utensils on this thing. This is an absolute game changer for me because I always like to have as little as possible to wash at the end of cooking my meals. So to know that I can be using the same metal spoon that I'm gonna eat my eggs with to actually cook my eggs just feels like a lifesaver. Now with your typical nonstick frying pans, you are not supposed to use metal utensils on it because it can scratch off that nonstick coating. But apparently this advanced PFOA free nonstick coating is metal utensil safe. I've been a little bit hesitant still about using metal utensils on this thing, but I will admit that I have been using a metal spoon to kind of gently cook my eggs, and so far it's been no problem at all. Now let's go through some of its descriptive points. It's a PFOA free nonstick coating, and PFOA is a lab made chemical that has been found to be potentially a health hazard. Instead, it's made with a toughened anodized aluminum. It's also safe to use on the stovetop, oven, or grill up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It is induction stove compatible. It has an ergonomic cool touch stainless steel handle. It's hollow, so it doesn't retain any heat, and I can vouch for this. The handle looks like it would get hot, but it doesn't. It is also dishwasher safe, but that's actually how I ruined my last nonstick pan, so I am not sticking this $110 pan into my dishwasher. So far, this nonstick frying pan has been great for my sunny side up eggs. It only requires like the teeniest, tiniest bit of oil and my egg just slides around on the pan. The material of this frying pan is a little bit thicker than kind of your average frying pan, so it does take a little bit more time to heat up on the stove, but not so much so that it becomes a problem. It's also a bit heavier to hold because of that thicker material, but not uncomfortably so. I can still swing it around with 
a lot of ease. After use, I just wipe it down with a paper towel and it is good as new. I've also tried stir frying small amounts of vegetables in this thing and it also works really, really great. I have a bad habit of sometimes letting the oil sit in the pan a little bit too long before wiping it clean, which is why these metal circles here are a little bit discolored, but it doesn't impact the performance of the pan whatsoever. I really like this pan a lot and I don't regret spending my gift card on it whatsoever. Like I said, I use it almost every single day, so it's worth the splurge to me. And again, my first Le Creuset item. So I'm really, really excited about adding it to my compilation of kitchen items. But if you are looking for a more affordable option, the frying pan that I used before this one is the Tefal Pro Grade Nonstick Fry Pan and I loved it. It's also much more affordable, around $40, and that frying pan lasted me for a good like four years. Um, to be perfectly honest, I just didn't take really good care of it. I did use metal utensils, and like I said, I put it in the dishwasher and it just destroyed it. But it served me really, really well for those four years. So if you are looking for a more affordable option and you're better than me at kind of taking care of your possessions, then I totally recommend the Tefal Pro Grade Nonstick Pan. I linked the Tefal frying pan and also the Le Creuset frying pan um, through my Amazon affiliate link down below in the description box if you wanna check that out. All right, thanks so much for joining me today. If you have any type of metabolic dysfunction like I do, whether it's insulin resistance, prediabetes, diabetes, gestational diabetes, anything like that, please head over to my channel. I have a lot of blood sugar experiments. I have what I eat in a day videos using um, my continuous glucose monitor to show you what my blood sugar is doing. I have um, healthy blood sugar friendly recipes and things like that. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and check it out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming content. All right, I will hopefully see you guys all next time. Bye!